Today, I will demonstrate how to perform a diagnosis with the SpiceLogic Bayesian Doctor or Rational Will software. We use our common sense all the time to update our beliefs based on our observations. But when Bayes' theorem is incorporated with our common sense, the diagnosis becomes more logical and rational. The Bayesian inference tool in the Bayesian Doctor or Rational Will basically lets you utilize Bayes' theorem to update your beliefs step by step. Say your patient is suddenly experiencing weight loss, but he's not doing any physical exercise. He doesn't work hard and does nothing that should burn his calories. He also feels very tired most of the time. So what could be the reason? Let's do some research to find out the possible reasons. Hmm, there could be a lot of causes, but for our demo, let's pick just three of the most likely causes, cancer, diabetes, or depression. But for your actual diagnostics, you should pick as many potential causes as you feel appropriate. Let's use the Spice Logic Bayesian doctor to find out the root cause of his symptoms. But a disclaimer, Please note that I'm demonstrating a diagnosis scenario just for purposes of displaying the features of the Spice Logic software. You shouldn't consider the demonstration I present here as medical information for use in an actual diagnosis. You should always consult your doctor in regards to any medical matters. Okay, click the Bayesian inference button. Now let's set up the hypotheses. Double click on the first hypothesis and type cancer. Now add two more hypotheses, diabetes and depression. Here you can set your initial beliefs. Okay, you know that weight loss is not the only symptom of cancer. According to a reference site, there are many other symptoms of cancer as we can see here. The patient has two symptoms in common, weight loss and fatigue but nothing else. You guess that there could be a 30% chance that the patient has cancer, so you check this box to enable the probability setting and set the probability. Similar to that, what is your initial belief that the patient may have diabetes? There are many symptoms of diabetes as we can see here. Again, we see two symptoms in common but not all symptoms are present. You also learned that the patient has a family history of diabetes. You guess the probability of diabetes could be around 40%. Finally, you guess the probability of depression could be 30%. But what if you could have no clue at all? According to the principle of indifference, if you have no reason to believe that one event has a higher chance than another event, you can assign equal probabilities to all events. Therefore, according to the principle of indifference, you can assign 1 over 3 or a 33% probability to all hypotheses. If you uncheck this box, then the software will do that for you automatically. Now we need to lock in the initial hypotheses so that we can focus on our experiments and observations. On this panel, we can set up our observations and experiments. Now ask the patient to perform various lab tests to check for cancer. Then you receive the test results, which are negative. That's good news. Let's record the observation. Now, expand the causal discovery panel to include that observation to update your belief. Think about it. If the patient really has cancer, then how likely would he observe a negative test result? Almost never, right? So, set a very low probability here. Uncheck these boxes as diabetes and depression have no relationship with this lab test. Now, click update beliefs. Cool! Notice that the probability of the cancer hypothesis has been updated to 0.04. 
Now, you still have two hypotheses, so you need to cancel out another one. Oh, another thing. If you'd like for the calculated probability of a hypothesis to be considered rejected if the probability falls below a threshold, you can set that threshold here. Now, notice that the hypothesis of cancer is rejected here. From this panel, you can see the experiment and observation history. The tooltip will give you detailed information about what experiment was done and what the observation was. Check this box to show or hide rejected hypotheses. Okay, now we have another hypothesis to cancel out. You asked the patient if he urinates a lot, often at night. The patient tried to remember and he felt confused. He answered yes. So, that can be considered as an observation. Let's record this information as an observation by clicking this observation button. Then, double click to edit the text as urinates a lot. Now, see the causal discovery panel shows questions for this new observation. How likely do you observe this observation if a patient really has diabetes? Hmm, say almost 90%? Then answer it here. Now, answer the question, how likely do you observe urinates a lot if a patient really has depression? Is there any correlation? From a reference site, we do not see urinating a lot as a symptom of depression. But can you set this value to zero here? Hmm, no. Why? Because it's not stated anywhere that if the patient has depression, he cannot have diabetes at the same time, and therefore he won't urinate a lot. Rather, the fact is that there is no relationship between this observation with this hypothesis. So, uncheck this box. Now, click Update Beliefs. Now you see that the probability of diabetes got higher based on the new information. Let's check this belief history chart. We see how the belief changed over time based on various experiments and observations. Okay, the probability of diabetes is now 70% but it is a serious matter. You don't want to take any chances, you want to be completely sure. So, you ask the patient to take a blood sugar test. Let's do that. Once you've received the blood sugar test results, say you found the sugar level 99 mgdl. Record the observation. Now, check the causal discovery panel. You have questions to answer again for this new observation. How likely are you to observe a blood sugar level of 99 mgdl? Say that sugar level is actually normal and does not indicate diabetes. Hmm. Say the chance of diabetes based on this observation is 10%. Same as before, uncheck this box as depression has no relationship with this blood sugar test. Now, click the button Update Beliefs. Now, you'll see that the most likely hypothesis is depression, not diabetes. Notice the belief history chart. The probability of diabetes was higher at some point, but then lowered toward the end. Now, look at the whole session. We see the possibility of cancer being cancelled out totally, and the probability of depression got higher. The idea is that you can always perform more and more experimentation and gather pieces of evidence to update your belief by systematically applying the Bayes theorem, and that's what I've just demonstrated here. Again, I hope you understand that the example information I have presented here is not necessarily medically accurate information. Finally, if you have any questions about the software, please feel free to reach out to our help desk. Thank you for watching.